Hello and welcome everyone to another episode. Yes, so, as you can see, we are launching our first module to our Kerbin Space Station. Yeah, so, I hope you guys are thinking it's just as epic and amazing as I think it is, because I ended up attaching... Sorry, I mean, I don't know if you guys wanted to see this, because after my last episode, my last couple episodes, I've been a little bit nitpicky with the game, and everything just hasn't been getting exa exactly the way I want it, so, um, you know, I'm going to try not to be as nitpicky this episode, because usually, um, it does not lead to good things. It only leads to me punching my monitor, and we all know how that goes. Oh my god, sp slow down. There we go. So anyways, um, yeah, I ended up launching the second part of the, uh, what is it, the solar panels, uh, you know, the girder piece, or whatever you want to call it, but the main truss, the main platform, just looks, like, amazing to me. The only complaint I have is the solar panels aren't big enough. I, I wish I could just have, like, a, du like, you know, a double-sized solar panel or something like that. It, to where it would fill out a little bit better because it really doesn't fill out. Now this is like my fourth launch with this rocket too. Um, that I might add. And the reason is not because of struts or that it's unstable or any of that other stuff. I mean it is relatively stable. I didn't stage it correctly and I ended up having this stage here which is this decoupler right here at the top and it was in this and every single time I detach the rocket itself you know, the front part came off, and then the back, and I'm like, what's going on? Do I not have enough struts? That's why this thing has about a billion struts on it. And I'm like, what am I doing wrong? And, you know, just that just shows that even somebody as skilled as me, if you want to call it that, or whatever, I make mistakes all the time, too, and I, I overlook stupid little things because I think I wouldn't make a mistake like that. So, anyways... You can see we got Bill Jebediah and Bob, and they are going to be the first inhabitants of our space station, the way it is right now. I don't plan on having a high population on the space station. Not because I don't want to or something like that, and I should be watching my orbit. Um, not because I don't want to, it's mostly because I kind of want to go a little bit more realistic with it. Compared to my last space station, where I had like a thousand freaking Kerbals all jammed into the space station, and they're all, you know, it's, um, it was pretty stuffed, and that's what she said. Uh, but, you know, I'm, I'm leaning towards, you know, trying to make it a little bit more realistic, I'll have a little bit more fun, uh, you know, because a lot of my, you know, a lot of my missions are going to be very intense as far as getting things into orbit and you know trying to accomplish as much as I possibly can so as you can see too um, I don't even know but you can tell the satellite grid is looking amazing uh, let me know I, I did mention it last episode but let me know if you guys want to see me launch another one and I'll try to be a little bit more uh, descriptive I guess if that's the word you want to use it, on how to set something like this up. How much... I was wondering how much RCS I left myself. I did construct um, a few pieces of this uh, space station, actually. And I I actually kind of have a blueprint now. That's one of the other things, too, is I am actually following some kind of a blueprint to where I'm going to build it a specific way. Uh, there are certain things I want it, I want to achieve, and there are certain things that I want added. And, you know, I'm not going to settle for anything less than that. Come on, come back down. There we go. Just get our orbit going here. It should be popping up here anytime. Turn off the RCS. There we go. Um, looks like we achieved an orbit on this side. Um... Now let's uh, set our target. I think our inclination's a little funky right now. That's not that bad, but okay. Let's let's get to the space station and let's get docked up here soon. So if I set up a burn, what will this give me if I don't even have to change my inclination? I I'm not really 
looking to uh, have like a ultra perfect approach here. As long as I can get in the ballpark, I'm happy. So let's see. What is this? 11.2 is not that bad. I'm okay with this. Uh, let's see. We have more than enough fuel to do that burn, and I think I'm just going to keep the mainsail on here just for now to do this burn, and then we'll uh, we'll de decouple that stage, get rid of all of that. It's kind of a shame because I am wasting a little bit of fuel, but it's only half of a silver tank here, so it's not that bad. Bring this down. Come on, come on. Uh, now, if you guys don't know where I'm going to be docking this up to, um, you might want to tune in for that. Who says tune in? But wh whatever, I say it all the time. I Whatever. But the uh, it's like the center has a large size docking port, and that's where we will be attaching this piece to. This will be the main part of our space station as far as modules are going this one will be connecting every other module that will be attached following this it will be the main you know I guess mother of the attachments or whatever you want to call it mother of modules now once we pass this node I think it should switch this over but let's see yeah I think we overshot a little bit is this fixable with RCS? It is, but uh, it's taken forever, so let's get rid of this. We got RCS on. Uh, let's flip around as quick as we can here, and then we're just going to do a little correction burn. Shouldn't be too much. I just don't want to pass too far past this node, otherwise it will kind of screw up the uh, intersect. So let's... Do the burn, come on. And stop it. 11.7, um, let's see. Bring this down a little bit more. Um, I think 11.1? 11.1 is uh, the best we're gonna get. Uh, yeah, I, I see, I, I can get a better approach than that, so don't think that I'm just launching this and uh, I'm just basically, that's the best I can get. I can do a lot better for those of you who are new and, you know, whatever. Um, but it it just, uh, you know, I don't really care that much. We're, it's close enough, we're going to meet up with it, and, you know, everything's going to be good. We're just going to have to do one crazy burn here. So... What are we looking on RCS? I think we're really good, so it doesn't really matter so much. Now, uh, one good thing, too. I mean, we don't really need to dock it up. Or, I mean, uh, not dock it up, but match it up that bad, or that much, or that close, or whatever you want to say. Uh, if you do your burn, and you push this all the way to the center, you'll see that the separation will change a lot. And it will change it will get closer and closer and closer and that will bring you on an even better approach you can see uh, we're moving relative to the target we slow down a lot but we're still not perfect I mean this also helps out as well this is one of the major fuel saving techniques I give with docking is you can really push these around. You have complete control over your craft. You know what you're doing. You can push these around to wherever you want them to be. So, without having, you know, it, it saves you from having to do a lot of a burn and all kinds of other stuff. Because one thing I taught in the beginning was to cancel out your velocity completely. And it makes more sense to just push this towards your target. That way, if you look... Um, the separation, you can see, is 0.1, and we all we had to do was burn to push this towards the center. We didn't actually have to do, um, you know, a burn to cancel out our velocity and then burn towards the target. It just doesn't make any sense. You're wasting fuel. You're wasting your own velocity that you've built up already trying to uh, reach this thing. So you're saving a little bit. Not a lot, but a little 
So I'm going to push this a little bit more here, and it should be down to like almost nothing. Um, 0.1, but we're going to have to do a, another burn here so we can cancel out our velocity completely. Where's our target? Right there, and we're flying towards it at 31 meters a second. Not good. Just cancel this out. Push it towards the center here a little bit. Oh, and you can see here's our main truss here. Um, everything, all the solar panels are on it. Everything is working. It's in a fine working order. I'm just going to bring this up a little bit more, and then we got to find our target because I don't see it. I don't actually see the docking port, so it kind of sucks. Let's run an RCS here. I'm wondering why my controls are, like, unbelievably slow, but bring this, push this over. I, You know, I thought, oh, I think this is it right here. I thought we were pretty close to it, so... We are. Everything is good. Now I am going to get nitpicky with this module and only because it is one of the main modules that have to, it has to be perfect in order for everything else to work properly. So that being said, I mean, if, if this is just off by a hair or two, it's not going to, the whole space station won't look right. And I won't have any control over it once it's actually docked up and everything else. So let's get this thing attached in a little bit, a little less talk here. So a little less talk, a lot more action. Yes. I don't know if any of you guys are a country, you know, country music fans. I, I like it a little bit. I, I, you know what? I will admit it. I will admit it, I listen to country occasionally. And it's mostly because I just have... I, I'm a 90s kid at heart. So, like, you know, with all the newer music and stuff, like, you put on some Nirvana or, like, you know, just, like, the older rock or anything like that, and I, I just love it. But everything else, like, all the newer music and stuff like that, I really just... I have no patience for it. It... To me, it just sounds like crap, and I, I don't mean to knock your music tastes either, because I know a lot of people out there enjoy, you know, Rihanna or, you know, whoever... Oh, crap. All our translation controls got screwed up. Control from here. Oh, my God. Yeah, one thing that happens with this module, and it's really annoying, is these uh, HAB modules actually take priority over the uh, remote guidance unit. I don't know if I said that or not, but I think we got lights on this thing. Yeah, we do. Sexy. Uh, Alright, so this piece is going there. I'm just going to kind of shift this whole craft up a little bit. So I'm probably going to end up having to redock this thing at least maybe more than once. I'm going to try to make it as lined up as I possibly can on my first shot, but I don't know how well that's going to work. But anyways, back to the music thing. Yeah, I'm a 90s kid, so I, like honestly, I just have no patience for a lot of newer music and like the way that certain artists you know, are performing nowadays, and, you know, I just can't get into music the way I used to when I was younger. It's just like, I'm so set in my ways with certain songs and music and everything else that, like, I just, it's hard for me to like something new and enjoy it, like, truly enjoy it. Like, even my girlfriend just has no patience for what I listen to. She thinks I listen to, like, the weirdest stuff, but... And I'm not even talking about, like, Nirvana or some of the 90s music and stuff like that. I'm just talking about, like, uh, if you guys were ever to see me in my car, if you knew me personally, you would see me listening to, like, opera and classical and Frank Sinatra and, um, what is it, uh, what's his name? It's totally slipping my mind right now. I can't even think of his name. Um, Dean Martin, stuff like that, uh just love it. I, I absolutely just, I can't get enough of it. 
All right, it's looking pretty good here. Um, I don't like how this docking is in the game now. It, it's a little wonky. You know, it, the craft itself kind of bounces around a little bit, and it just... You can't get a clean fix. But it looks like we got a dock here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Now, let's see. Uh, there's going to be no real way to... This is going to be all just eyeing it and making sure it's pretty much lined up the best way. I'm going to bring this over on the light side. I don't know why, but this game, every time I do a launch, anytime I just do anything in this game now, everything is on the dark side. Everything I launch, it's dark. Everything is dark. So... I mean, I think I line this up the best way I possibly can, but... Let's see, control from here, and then I'm going to do the control from here and see if it twists a little bit. You know, see, that's the other thing too, to line it up, because if you do control from here, if you watch the nav ball, and then I do control from here, it does shift a little bit, and that shift isn't really that bad, so I, I think I'm going to stick with this. How is this broken? Please explain to me how this is broken. I didn't even extend this, so how did it how did it break? That that's so weird. This one works and this one works, but this one's broken and this one's broken. I'm gonna keep them on there, anyways. I don't really care. Um, I kind of just added stuff onto this module, and it's not because I I just wanted them to look different, you know. And you know, I think it's cool on a space station or anything that. You know, you have separate modules sometimes, they have their own, uh, what is it, their, their own solar panels, their own power source. See, I don't know why this one, I don't know why these broke, I didn't even deploy them. So, I, maybe I'll relaunch this module uh, later, or something, but, otherwise I think I might just keep it. It's not that big of a deal that they broke, I, I really, you know, this is really good the way it is, so I'm not really going to change something if... It already came out pretty good. So I'm just going to transfer some fuel out here. And I believe we can decouple the stage. There's no point in keeping it. And wow. Yeah, this thing is just looking awesome. I mean, I don't notice any real differences with this. Uh, sorry that I'm talking like uh, Captain Kirk or whatever, but... I really don't notice any real differences with how this looks or anything. Um, I don't notice any shift in it where it looks off-center. It looks pretty good to me, so... Yeah, I'm gonna get a little nitpicky. I mean, maybe I'll uh, change this out. Maybe I'll flip out, take out this whole module. I don't know. I'm kind of upset that the solar panels broke, but... You know, it gives it a little bit of character. I mean, stuff is broken on the space station right now. I mean, they just had a coolant leak, and uh, they just had an EVA where a guy had... I, I don't know who it is on the space station, but he, something was leaking into his suit. Some kind of liquid was inside of his suit floating around his face and all that stuff. But, yeah, that's another story. If you want to look that up, go ahead or subscribe to the NASA channel. Um, they did do a whole feature about that but let's let's jump into the IVA now this is the have modules now this is what they look like on the inside they actually look like a module you know they, they actually oh my god the windows too that's epic that's amazing so you got toothbrushes and game boards and science more science and laundry and if I shift over here um, wait now that I'll just switch to it. Oh, God. No, not an EVA. Get back in. Get back in. Get back in. What was it? IVA. There we go. You'll see we have food, not food, refuse, trash, rubbish, and junk. They have a lot of crap on this station. And you can actually see the panels from the window, which is looking awesome. And I don't think this... uh strut's gonna be here maybe once i get rid of the other thing i think that's jeb too he's looking pretty happy right now i i like how their eyes are kind of like off center 
a little bit. It, it kind of has like the derpy eyes. And uh, looks like got pictures of back home here or something. I think he's not wearing a spacesuit. This has got to be the first picture of a Kerbal without a spacesuit. Amazing. So let's just get out of this view. Let's get back out here. And yeah. This is looking freaking awesome. Uh, once I get more modules on here and I start extending out this way, it's going to really start coming together and you guys will see uh, all the stuff I have in store for you. But uh, anyways, guys, thank you for watching. If you like what you see here, subscribe. There's definitely more to come. And uh, yeah, I will see you next time.